Alright guys, let's continue and get the uh, grenade working. Um, for this we will start off inside the grenade and let's see, um, last time we um, created this spawn here and I just realized we are missing something here because I am spawning the foliage but I'm not setting the owner for it. Um, um, let me actually do something in order to avoid having too many arrows. So my um, uh, foliage sphere. I'll actually drag this one out here. Yeah, it's, it's easier. And delete and call this. Okay. So set this, and we also um, want to set our owner. Okay, and we want to set it to ourselves like that. Okay, so we need to activate. Uh, these, um, if we drop a grenade here, we can see there's a small influence area, but none of the the foliages got activated. Only when I step into them, uh, they actually get activated. And the reason for that, as far as I can tell, is that because uh, the setup we have on component hit here is specifically made so it will work with this um, sweep. And since it's not moving at all, we're not going to get anything out of that. So we actually need to uh, replicate some of this stuff here. So I'm going to take all of that stuff from the on component hit and make this a little bit smaller. And I'm going to collapse this into a macro. So and it switches things around. So I'm going to call this activate. Foliage, foliage, and I'm just gonna click into this. It's not really necessary, but um, I'm gonna delete this one and add a new similar hit and hit hit and connect that one up. Okay, um, so once we drop our grenade. Um, we want to activate it. Um, let's see, we have a, a little cooldown here of three seconds, and we, after that, we, um, well, before we explode it. So, here we have the fire impulse. So, before that uh, event, we want to activate our. Um, Foliages. So we need a new uh, custom event for this. So let's add one here um, and call this activate foliages. And we're gonna use a multi sphere trace by channel, but it, since it's not inside um, um, uh, an event tick, it's gonna be okay. Uh, so we are traced by each other. So actually, we are reintroducing something we already made, uh, sort of. Uh, get some location. Uh, it's going to be this start here, and plus a little offset of some sort, just 10 up. And let's give it a ratio, radius of 200 for now. We're going to change this in a moment. Um, so drag out here and take four each loop and just gonna quickly recreate what we made earlier and from this one uh, break hit result and check if we have an initial overlap actually we can maybe just get away with a check here branch and check 
and then activate foliage, the macro we just created, and let's see, pull that in here, yep. So let's see if we do not get an error. Why is that? That pen must have something to file. What? Why are they? Oh, okay. Um, where is it? Where is it? Here. Okay, so if I dump something here, let's see if we get the next one. We didn't. Okay. Um, well, that's a probably let's check something um now the trace uh is happening on visibility and i changed the the condition settings early on uh, so we need to revisit them so since the static foliages are not responding to visibility all that we want to change that so um I didn't think of that when I made that video. Um, let's see if we get anything. Um, no? Oh, maybe I forgot to call it. Uh, did I? Uh, let's see, I forgot to call it. Great. Okay, let's see now. Okay, so we have a pretty big explosion right now, and that's something we should uh, also take a look at. So um, I want to add a little something. Actually, let's do that afterwards, because we have a, a radial force, and no, right now nothing is happening. It's not like uh, the foliages are moving. And uh, you see, I, I um, think I made a, a different, uh, another uh, little bug in my collision setup uh, when I was doing it. So on my um, dynamic foliage uh, we need to set this to physics body because otherwise they are not going to respond um, to anything except they still don't respond to anything and that's actually because um, also in the collision settings, um, when I check, uh, I think it's dynamic foliage, I set it to physics only, no query, so since um, an explosion is technically not a physics big, uh, event, we need to set that also. So now we get that uh, response from the, the foliage. So we're getting there. Um, okay, so a few um, things we need, I think we need to add to this solution is going to be something I will cover in the next video. Uh, for now I'm going to take a break and um, I will add a little bit extra to this. So uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next. Bye bye.